Coming up, we take a look at the latest deck from Theory 11 and give you multiple chances to win one for yourself. And we announce the winner of the Bicycle House Blend deck. All of that next. Anybody who's watched my content before knows that it's no secret that I'm a fan of Theory 11. They have a sensibility that really lines up nicely with my own. Many of their decks exude luxury and class, and that's really what I try to do too. But anyway, it's the great design choices that go into their tuck cases that really make them stand out in a lot of ways. Today's feature deck is no different. Welcome back guys, I'm The Gentleman Wake and you've come to the go-to channel for playing cards related content. We've got a shorter episode this time around. The truth is I had something else lined up for this week, but when these arrived in my mailbox, I decided to switch up the slate. No need to worry, cause that other episode will be posted next week. But for now, let's focus on the Hudson deck by Theory 11. In fact, if you want a chance to win a Hudson deck directly from me, I'm gonna give you two ways to do it at the end of this episode, so be sure to stick around until then. And if you're new around here, in fact, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you've already subscribed, there's nothing left for you to do except become a member of the notification squad by hitting that bell down there so you're alerted every time I post a new video. Let's get into it. The Hudson deck was just recently released on Theory11.com after a pretty lengthy social marketing campaign that saw the Tug and Jokers teased heavily across Instagram. The deck comes packaged in a matte mint green cardstock tuck case with bronze foil ink. The design reminds me of the patina tones of bronze sculptures and is nicely embossed throughout. If there's one thing to laud about Theory 11, it's their consistency. This new deck fits nicely within their collection. It just seemingly belongs and not just aesthetically, although that's obviously a big part. The folks at Theory 11 have an affinity for decks based on architectural structures quite a few of which specifically feature New York City landmarks as inspiration. There's the Nomad deck and the National, both based on New York City hotels. The Tycoon deck is inspired by the Waldorf Astoria, and it only takes a second to glance at the front of the Hudson Tuck Box to realize that this too is an architecturally inspired design. The front of the box features the Hudson branding with the embellished H, two Corinthian style columns flank the design at either side, with a statue of a griffin, a mythological cross between an eagle and a lion, in relief at the top of each pedestal. The bottom reads New York and behind the logo drawn in perspective is a representation of the factory home of the Hudson Playing Card Company, which of course is the impetus behind the deck. According to the Theory 11 website, the Hudson Playing Card Company was a short short-lived producer of playing cards that operated between the years of 1856 and 1871 before they were absorbed into another company. Still, despite the short tenure, the Hudson Playing Card Company factory, built on the bank of the river by the same name, became synonymous with premium quality. The sides of the deck read Hudson amidst a frame of more Art Deco style line work. The bottom includes the traditional ad copy. The back of the tuck box features a representation of the back design in usual Theory 11 fashion. Unfortunately, it promises a bit more than the cars can deliver. On the tuck case, you have two antique styled architect's compasses in bronze gold laid over the shining outline image of a sun. Some additional circular elements like architectural leaves or feathers surround it. The columns reappear here, although this time the griffin statues are mirrored at each end, making them a two-way design. The entire design is surrounded by an art deco frame. The Latin phrase circa trova, a Theory 11 favorite, appears here again, urging us, seek and you shall find. The top of the tuck is sealed with a custom white seal featuring a gold foil monogram letter H. Breaking the seal and opening the box reveals that the same monogram design has been printed in black as a repeating pattern on the inside. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say the following couple of statements. At the risk of sounding like a very broken record, Theory 11 as a whole makes the best mass-produced tuck cases, period, 
the end. They are gorgeous. In fact, be sure to stay tuned to this channel to see which one of them makes my top 10 tug cases list, which incidentally is a video that's coming soon. The other lamentably repeatable statement is that as far as tug cases go, they're amazing, but the cards inside just never really live up to them. Pulling the cards out of the box, we realize that the deck does the typical Theory 11 single color card back design thing. The Monarchs, the Nationals, the Tycoons, the Nomads all do it too. It's a habit only broken by one or two Theory 11 decks like the Citizens, which remain my favorite in part because they include gold metallic ink on a darker field. Here the Hudsons are a mint green metallic ink on white cardstock. Aside from the simplified coloring, the design is virtually unchanged from the tuck case. Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful design. The cards are very classy very elegant. The mint green is a nice choice too, in part because it's not the usual red or blue or black and it's metallic on top of that. The thing is though that in my mind's eye I have a vision of a full bleed casino style card in contrast to most Theory 11 decks and their poker style border. I imagine a green field to mimic the tuck case with a bronze metallic ink as a highlight and black ink to provide the contrast. Even better if it were hot foil stamped. I keep waiting for the day Theory 11 surprises me with another true luxury deck, something they haven't done since the Gold Monarchs. The deck comes with two custom jokers, identical, an image of a bearded man in renaissance garb sitting legs crossed on the ground, spitting water like a fountain into the air and mouths of what look like to be two black ravens. Some have speculated, and I'm not so sure, that this is Odin holding aloft his ravens, which coincidentally I spoke about in the last episode. The Ace of Spades is custom as well, featuring a design that is highly reminiscent of the High Victorian deck. The monogram H is featured in the center, the top is folded inward to fit within the spade pip. There's a nice crown element at the top. The rest of the cards are all bicycle standard with only the coloration being different. The red of the hearts and diamonds is more crimson and the courts see the inclusion of gold metallic ink. Also included are the two typical Theory 11 ad cards. As all Theory 11 decks in recent memory, the cards are printed by the United States Playing Card Company and as such they handle magnificently. They are modern cut, retail stock and feature air cushioned embossing. The back design is isn't specifically geared towards flourishing, but they look good in springs and fans nonetheless. My final verdict? Well, these cards are premium, elegant, and perhaps to their detriment, a little too familiar, which to many I'm sure is a good thing. Fans and collectors of Theory 11 decks will not be disappointed. They are great for gameplay and magic as well, and of course the tug case is brilliant. The Hudson deck is currently available on Theory11.com, and I'm sure they will begin proliferating around to the playing card specific retailers pretty soon. Okay, so congratulations to Sergio Geralnik, who likes his cappuccino with no sugar, and who is now the proud owner of a bicycle house blend deck. Contact me, Sergio, to claim your giveaway prize. On the subject of giveaways, if you want a chance to win a Hudson deck directly from me, you'll be pleased to know you've got two distinct chances. First, I'm running a contest over on my Instagram, so head on over to wake.video slash IG or search The Gentleman Wake on Instagram and check out my Hudson's playing card post for details. And to double your chances to win, make sure to one, like this video, two, be a subscriber to this channel, and three, comment below and let me know which one is your favorite Theory 11 deck. Next time, we take a look at Magician Shin Lim's White Regalia deck, among others. For now, I've been The Gentleman Wake. Be sure to click here to subscribe and be sure to click here to watch another great video. Thank you so much for watching. See you again next time.